the United States is actually the largest contributor to WHO. Uh, and I have met uh, President Trump a number of uh, times uh, before, starting from 2017. And recently, we, we had a call conversation uh, two weeks ago. And what I know is that he's supportive, and uh, uh, I hope uh, the funding to WHO will, will uh, continue. And the relationship we have is, is uh, very uh, good, and uh, we hope that this will uh, continue. Releases from the headquarters, but also from our regional and country offices. So you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Let me just scroll back to my question here. Thank you. Thank you, Tariq, and thank you all who have participated, and uh, see you in our next uh, presser. The funding for the World Health Organization. Uh, we're going to be talking about that very soon. I'm getting a full report. I'm not happy with the World Health Organization. Not happy with the World Trade Organization either. We've been ripped off by everybody. We have this country, for so many years, has been ripped off by everybody, whether it's a World Health or World Trade. And they're like, I call them uh, the Bobsy Twins. They look at our country. For years and years, we had people that did nothing about it. We're doing a lot about it. So we'll have a report. And we'll also — we're also talking about the World Trade Organization. But we've made a lot of progress there. We're now winning cases for the first time because they know I'll — I'll leave if we don't get treated fairly. This country, our country, was at a point where we rarely, if ever, won the lawsuits within the World Trade Organization. But now we're winning a lot of them because they know I'm not — I'm not playing games. We will pull out if we have to. We just won a $7 billion lawsuit, which was very nice. Do you expect a decision this week on cutting funding for the uh, WHO? Yeah, I would say by the end of the week, I'm going to make a decision on that. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of — right now, there's a lot of things happening. From China. 